Hi, I'm Benji Gillum and I'd like to introduce you to MythPWE, a new way of controlling MythTV from your Wiimote. MythPWE is free and open source software released under the BSD license. All you need to run MythPWE is a PC running Ubuntu Hardy, a Bluetooth dongle, a Wiimote and working MythTV setup. First, installation. Instructions are on my website, benjigillum.com. Scroll to MythPWE installation in the scroll bar, in the sidebar. Um, as I'm here, I will also take this opportunity to download the latest version of MythPWE. Save it and save it to my desktop. Right, the next thing we need to do, close all this, is to run Myth Frontend and to enable its network remote control interface. To do this, we go to Utilities Setup, Setup, General, Next, Next, Next. Go down to Enable Remote Control Interface and make sure that is ticked. And then onto the Network Remote Control Port, make sure it's 6546, which is the default. Then simply Next, 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 Finish, and we're done. So, close Myth TV. Now, it's worth pointing out at this point that um, that port is now open to anyone on your network and possibly the internet, so I highly recommend that you firewall it. Uh, but I leave that to you to do. Now, to run MythPWE, just open up a terminal and type in Python desktop slash mythpwe.py and press enter. Then open up Myth Frontend again. And now it's opened, take your Wiimote and press the 1 and 2 buttons simultaneously. The lights at the bottom of the Wiimote will flash, and then when it has synchronized with MythPWE, they will the controller will vibrate and they'll go into this setting. Now you can control Myth TV using the Wiimote. Fairly simple. So, if we go into my media library and watch recordings, we can go on to say uh, Sean the Sheep. Now we can scroll down to the bottom to get the oldest Sean the Sheep and press the A button to play it. Now we're playing Sean the Sheep. Now we can use the normal arrow keys to skip forwards five seconds at a time or jump back a minute at a time but that's a bit lame really so what we're going to do is hold down the B trigger button and then we're going to twist the Wiimote to go into rewind mode that's five times if I tilt it more it goes faster 20 times 60, 120 or we can also use it to fast forward To stop it, just let go. This isn't the only control that I've added into MythPWE. There's also the time stretch. So if you want to see Sean sleepwalking in slow-mo, hold down B and A and then twist the Wiimote. When you let go, it will be time stretched. To go back to normal, hold down B and A and twist it back so that it, the Wiimote is flat and let go. Sorted. You can pause the TV by pressing the plus button and play it again by pressing plus again. To exit the recording press the home button which is the equivalent of escape.
and you can do that to exit Myth TV as well. When you're in your recordings, you can also delete a recording by pressing the minus button and then obviously yes delete but I don't really want to delete Sean the Sheep he's awesome when playing a video you've also got the 1 and the 2 button 1 is for info let me uh, fast forward past this So it brings up the info, for example the details about it, and two brings up the menu which you can then use to do advanced things. And um, that's about it I think. Why not give it a try and help me fix some of its bugs. <laughs>